Yes, bro. Brother Charles. Brother Daniel. How's it going? It's positive, man. It's positive. I'm sitting here up in Malibu overlooking the, um, overlooking the sea, which is really gorgeous. And Marco is asleep in his room, I think, or on Skype. Nice. <laughs> He's asleep. Just well deserved naps. <laughs> uh, um, okay, and uh, George is in the valley with his girlfriend. Hey, you've got. To put that back there. Whoa, what's going on over there? Oh, you see that? Whoa. Have you got them in series? Yeah, they're they're series and they're, it's uh it's it's actually creating a lot more voltage between the three of them. Of course. Yeah, so it's it's uh one of them it's it, it produces around five uh, excuse me one of them produces around one hundred volts independently, somewhere around one hundred and twenty or so. Mm. Having all three of them together like that, it's producing uh, five hundred. Whoa. And amps? So the amperage that we're getting out of it is somewhere around 0.15. So what I was trying to do here is uh, is power one and extract from the other two. Okay. The same way that I was telling you that, that I wanted to do it before. So I tested that out and I was feeding the battery. So I can go ahead and turn on a fluorescent tube. Right? Yeah with uh, the extraction energy from the top and the bottom but it still is not enough energy yet captured or, or uh, stored momentarily to feed back into the run battery to, uh, to self-sustain so uh, uh, when are your transistors gonna arrive? I'm hoping those transistors come this week sometime I, I ordered them last week okay, cool. so they should, they should be on their way Okay, so I see your little circuit there. Look, it's just like what I got over here. Where's it, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Can you see it? it? Yeah. Check it out. Okay, there you go. Okay, I got one of those. I also got one of these ones, but is this just the same? Same difference, yeah. Okay. okay. So now you notice that the top has a... Uh, a red line that goes across the top. Yeah. And um, there's also a blue line in parallel to that. But um, basically what you want to do is, you know your, your funky little uh, things that you had there, um, these guys? Yeah, these are funky. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to take one of those, take a red one. Why red? Uh, just for uh, color coding purposes. Okay, so red's at the top or red's at the left? The red's at the top, so what you're going to do is, you see, so where's your transistor? Let's take out uh, this one, less confusion. You're just going to go right here like this. Alright, let's take out this diode, not necessary. Okay. Red at the top. So what is the red at the top? That's going to be your positive rail because okay. this basically what this is, it's a uh, conductor that goes across all the way, all those dots, all the way across this way. All right. And this has a whole bunch of conductors that go up and down like okay. this. You see? So there's one, uh, one horizontal and a whole bunch of little verticals. Okay, so it's like a grid. Yeah, it's a grid in there. So that's why when you plug in your transistor here, it's going to register in all the rest of the, uh, the spaces there. So let's go ahead and... Horizontally and vertically. And so what... Okay. Uh. Let's try to get some more light over here. So I'm putting it, so the middle one is in the 15. Now, does it matter which way around it goes? So it goes like this. Um, your transistor, you've, you've got the middle one, or excuse me, the last one of the transistor. Mm -hmm. That one's going to go... 
Straight down to the blue on the bottom. It's a bit out of focus. Uh, okay, so what, you've got a black one coming out the top right. Is that black? Yeah. I don't have black. I'm going to use a red one. So black one coming out top right is a red one coming out top right. Yeah. So that's that's your red one. This is going to be my positive rail. Okay, yeah. Okay, so then... Um, so it doesn't matter where you put that in as long as it's somewhere along the red line. On the yeah, top. it doesn't really matter at all. It's anywhere across the top. Okay. You have, um, you have your third pin connecting to the ground. So you've got that as a black one. Does it matter again? I'm just going to put it red because that's positive. Yeah, the colors, the colors don't matter at all. Don't use all red because uh, you want to color code the red if, if possible as your, um, as your positive. So I'll use yellow. Yeah, so if, I would use a yellow going down whatever shorter ones that you have there. You'll just take that and run it right down to the blue. Fuck and it. then whatever you, you use um, for uh, for this for for the rail on the bottom, this is the negative rail. Okay. Okay, and that comes out of that third one. Okay, so down to the blue. Okay, the focus is a bit out. Can you could you rack it? Kind of like just. Uh, can can you can you rack the focus? Because I can use this video if we get it right. Thanks, Brad. No, I guess you can't rack the focus. Um, okay. Yeah. Is it is it too close? Hey, the bottom holes are not in line with the top holes. That's confusing. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, so I got that one, and then I got a, a what am I doing for, a green is going to be my negative. So. Okay, so this little negative lead right here, that'll be your green one. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so that's half the circuit, done. <laughs> Hooray. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take another one of your... You're going to take another one of your pins mm -hmm. and plug them in right here to the middle. Okay. Okay, a middle length one. Okay, gotcha. Right in the middle. And the little middle one stays hanging out. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and plug in one of these to the left one. Okay. So what is the middle one? What's happening in the middle? The middle one is going to go to your, uh, directly to one of the outputs, or excuse me, one of the inputs of the coil. Okay. And that's going to be here. This okay. one is going to go to the other. It's going to go through the, the potentiometer that you got into into the um, the coil okay cool so um, I'm just getting my potentiometer I'm just getting in the potentiometer and um, so this is what you should have as your as your uh, setup for your for your pot so here's my potentiometer What have you done there? What have you got there? You got the three little loopy things. Can you rack the focus on that camera to make it a bit closer? No, it's, it's as close it's, as you uh, can. Okay. It yeah, might be easier if it's a bit farther away then. Okay. Or well, just on the tabletop without being on something high. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, thanks, bro. Okay, so you've got one of them is connecting to itself and a white cable, and then the other one's just got a white cable. So I'm going to use uh, red as the only short ones that I've got. So how, how do you do that? You just bend it back on itself so it stays in contact. Yeah, and, and then um, if you have an alligator clip, just like squeeze it in there or solder it. Okay, so that one's so bending back on itself. 
and then sending. So one. Yeah, so you have the, um, if this is, uh, the, the pins are, are facing me, because my camera looks like it's reversed, but um, if the pins are facing me, the first pin is, is an output, second pin is an output, and then the second pin ties over to the third. Ah, okay, I made, in a, it. In a loop. I made a mistake. Okay, so is your one really a 2 watt potentiometer? Um, I think it's more more like a 0.5. Okay, because this one's 0 0.25, so I've got to be careful of frying it. And we yeah, won't... what we're going to do is make sure that you turn it all the way to the right before uh, turning on your circuit. Okay. And that's going to raise the resistance up. That way, when you start tuning your, your coil into resonance, it'll... Um, It'll, it'll have some resistance in there, so it won't pull very much current to fry the potentiometer. Okay, cool. So I got it like that. Is that right? That's it. Oh, you don't know. Now you need to solder those in place. Uh, for the time being, for convenience. For the time being. <laughs> I'm going to use these crocodile clips. Uh, and hey, I can even use those in the same configuration as the circuit. Right? That's true, that's perfect, yeah. So you can use your crop clips. So if this one's holding these guys together, it's not fucking with the circuit. Beyond, Charles, beyond. <laughs> 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 okay, Kip, and this one I can just tie really tight to itself. Yes. Okay, there okay. we go. Okay, we're flying. <laughs> all right, all right, now what? So now you take those two pins, one of them, so you know what, let's just remove this first pin and put in the potentiometer directly. Which one's that? The first one, okay. Where did that go? Show me again. Where's it gone? This first one. Oh, that's good. That's more focused. Okay, so it goes into the third. But hang on, you've taken one of the things out. Yeah, I took I took out this little guy. Yeah. And because I already soldered on a um, a little pointy tip into my potentiometer, I just went straight into the board. That's nice. So I'm taking that first one and I'm putting it in the in the last remaining hole on the breadboard of the transistor. Okay, done that. Okay. So this is gonna be this is gonna be your green mm -hmm. lead on, on your coil. Your green lead. This is going to be your uh, red lead. And then right here, this is going to be the junction between the two coils. So right where they tie together. Mm. And I'll show you what I mean because uh, with this um, with this other coil right over here. So you can see exactly how to um, exactly how it looks. All right. So check this out. So this is my positive, right? Mm. Or this is, uh, excuse me, this is going to be going to the collector. That's the middle pin mm. on the transistor. And let me just... Uh, Wait, should I just go quickly grab my coil? I'm going to do it at the same time. Yes. the church. Oh, that, that is a nice place there. It's sweet, huh? Check it out. Yeah, for sure. Looking, right. out, looking out over the sea. 
Up in Malibu. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's deep, man. Brother Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the places I've been. I'm staying now with a, with a, a brother in like a teepee in the Zika village. Uh, like his little house, Brother Jar. Mate, I was last night chilling and um, all of a sudden like I start having this like on my nerve nervous system starts like being electrocuted and I couldn't open my eyes. It's just like whoa <laughs> It's like really intense but healing pain like down all my nervous system where it's not really on it, just like Gung! and like my legs were going like yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's like okay. That's yeah. amazing. So you guys were in a vortex. Oh dude, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> And last night, Ruben, who made the animations for Avatar, he had this big UFO kind of like in the media and disclosure kind of meeting that they have twice a month and those really cool people. It's amazing out here, dude. It's a good family. It's super conscious. Yeah. Okay, so does it matter which one's green and which one we put into with the coil? Well, um, which one is under the other? Well, it depends which way you look at it, which way is up and which way is down. Oh, you, know, you mean like which that? One is red is under the green. Red is under the green. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take. Uh, you're gonna take this one. Is is your red then, right? The top is so, your red. So, so no, the green is on top. So are you sure that the green is not under the red? Yes. Look. You can see. Okay, yep, your red is under the green, for sure. Does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter, yeah. does it? Yeah, it really does. Shut up. One, Shut up. One, is your, um, one is the base on your transistor, so one activates the potentiometer. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be your red one. The red one activates the potentiometer, the other activates the, um, the collector. So let's, let's show, you, show you what I mean. I need some kind of a uh, little mounting apparatus here. Right there, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Wiggle your focus. Right. Wiggle your focus just a little. I know you can get it better than that. No, 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 no. Do your focus so it gets the coil. Rack it. No, no, no. Don't move the thing. Just do your focus. Where, there, where? There's no focus, Charles. I thought you had a little focus ring on that. No, this is um, autofocus. This is not my camera. This is my webcam. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, I've seen you racking the focus on that thing. Okay, no, no. I'm, I'm crazy. It's like you have to either get close or get get far, and it does it on its own. It's a autofocus. Okay, okay. Is is that better? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so you have your. Uh, this one should be red, and this one should be green. So you're gonna take. The red finish. Hold on, hold on, because my one is uh, the other way around to yours, I think. Yeah, so, so just flip it upside down. So wait, uh, okay, so I've got red on top and green, and you're taking a crocodilico grip. Yes. And what are you doing with that, man? <laughs> Take this little clip, and you're going to finish to start. To your, to your. So that's going from my top red one in red to out green. All right, I see. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to take an, another off color and connect it from here. And that's the same pin. So basically, these two are connected together. It's kind of like the same difference of just taking them and twisting them together. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing that for the speakers. I just had a Rachmaninoff pumping through it. Nice. You don't hear anything unless there's a, uh, a magnet in the middle, right? This is true. Okay, I don't have a magnet. Yeah, but you can... Uh, KJ Magnetics, they, they ship pretty quickly, but... Um, I don't know where you would get a magnet on hand. Well, if we can call up George when we finish this setup and tell him what he needs to get. He's shopping out uh, in the valley. 
So okay. you, you can go to uh, Fry's and pick up whatever else we need. Nice. All right, so um, now what else? Sorry, where so does this go? So go ahead and, and put this. Uh, uh, this is the junction between the two channels, and that goes over to the positive rail. Uh, okay. Okay. To the first input of the positive rail. Okay. Okay, now to that bit. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So now you have a. This is your um, the start on the top one. Is going over to the potentiometer. So the start on the top one. So the only bit that doesn't. Uh, wait, hold on. Which part of the coil does it go to? Top left. Yeah, top left is going hey. over to. Hey. The Look who's in. <laughs> Look who just walked in. Randy. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? That's live. I thought you were watching a video. Oh, look at this. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, 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 hey Daniel, look at you. <laughs> How's it going? Good, man. We waited through the night. We're still alive. I know. Yeah. Did you sleep? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I tried it as much as possible. Yeah. Check it out. He's looking nice, man. I like that. Some style, man. Whoa. Oh, that one is intense, man. Wow. Oh. This is our, our, uh, our brother Brian. Oh, Brian did those plates? Yeah, this is Brian's work right there. Nice. Hmm. So it's, it's Brian's pretty, a friend of mine pretty uh, streamlined. This is the other one. Nice, man. So those are the, those are the two we, we wound last night. And then built another panel over there of LEDs. Right on, so, man. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're cooking. <laughs> is Marco so, here? Did he get back yet? I think he hasn't been. He is. What time are you guys up there? Uh, I don't know. I went to bed like 4.30 or something. But I don't know. So I got up like a Okay, well, I got a few hours. So I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so, so back to wiring. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. Hey, man, I'll, I'll be back in there. Okay. All right. So, um, where are we? You had your start, finish, uh, your um, start of the channel one, going to the potentiometer, right? Start of my channel one has gone to the potentiometer. So hold on, bottom left, which one's channel 1, which one's channel 2, which one's channel A, which one's channel B? Top one is channel A. Let's call it top left. Okay. So top left is going to go over to the potentiometer. Okay. And then uh, bottom right. Which part of the potentiometer? Um, the middle bit. Yeah, so it's going to be the far right then. Let's, let's use um, with the potentiometer with the legs facing away from me. Uh-huh. I'm using the top, the the right one all the show way me, to the show right. Show me, show me, show me how you connected that. Where's your crocodile clip? Uh, no, that's the middle right. Okay, so the so the far right one goes into the circuit. I thought it was the middle one. No, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, can you hold that over? I can't see. So is that the middle one? It's the middle one, man. This one is going. Yeah, so it's the middle one. It's the middle one. I got you. I got you. Like that, right? The middle. It's not the middle. Oh, you, you mean uh, the uh, okay? Of so the potentiometer, the there's there's three circly bits in the potentiometer, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the middle one is the one we're connecting this uh, top left coil to. No. That's what it's you just showed me. Top left coil. Can you see? Follow that. And then it comes and connects to the middle one. The far right one is going into the circuit board. Look, look at it. Mm. Have a look, have a look. Show me what you've got there. Okay, so top left. 
Top left is going. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Top left is going to the middle. Okay. And then the middle is tied. Okay. Yeah. Then the other goes into the circuit. And then the 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 bottom right is going to the collector. And then the bottom right is going to the collector. What's the collector, bro? That that's the middle pin of the transistor. The middle pin of the transistor. All right. Okay, it's a little bit complicated. I've got to be honest and say I can't remember what the theft is going on, by the way. It gets easier because it's like the same circuit for everything. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've got, you, you've got the, uh, the shot in action. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the candid. That's good, eh? <laughs> okay, so now we have on our board, we have positive and negative output, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, what do I hook that up to? I was just inside Radio Shack. Um, uh, it's not on yet. Yeah. Uh, but I was just inside Radio Shack, uh, but I guess maybe you can feel field anyway. That's what you got, hey? How do you charge those up? Can I just show you this? Yeah, it's, it's still, Curtis, not yet. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> It's happening. Yeah, oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm updating the Randy's Donuts page, so I'm just looking for always something good to... Hey, is, is, is this going to work, bro? Thanks. Is that a trickle charger? It is a Indy 16X microprocessor charger. High frequency okay. AC-DC switching power supply, multitasking full charge detection algorithm. Minus delta voltage full charge termination, dual peak slope full charge termination, auto detect, smart logout timer, 16 bit. This is, what is that? Is that going to help me charge up the, uh, the 12 volt battery I'm getting from uh, Radio Shack? I think so. That plugs into the wall and yeah. Okay. That should be it. And, and then you just take that battery and, you know, you don't really even need to use one of those. If you want to do an on-grid, you would just use one of the little brick adapters, like a laptop battery uh, mm. adapter where you plug your laptop into. Yeah. You could use one of those if, for simplicity, but, you know, you, you, could, you could go ahead and uh, use the battery too, either, uh, I, either or. I don't know exactly what... Uh what that would look like. If you could send me the brick adapter, a, a link to an example, that would really help. Hmm. Please. Uh, actually, Popcorn. You may have a brick adapter right around here somewhere. Cool. So a brick adapter yeah. is one of these. What's up? You've been shooting. Shooting? Yeah, filming. Filming? Oh, no, no. Not yet. You, okay, you, you see this thing? Yeah. So those, these little brick adapters, they connect into like uh, printers or your computer. Yeah, then Basically, that little box regulates 120 down to uh, somewhere like 12 volts. Okay. So you, you can go ahead and get one of those little brick adapters, and it'll, it'll do the, the, perform the same function. It'll just bring the remember, unit from off-grid to on-grid. You've got to remember what an idiot I am, bro. Like, what is the... Um, what is the uh, how do I get from a brick adapter into the circuit? So now that's where you plug into those leads that, yeah, but that how? are left on the... It's, it's like this a, is the like, positive? How do I plug my laptop charger into, a, uh, into the circuit? So that your laptop charger, what you would get in Radio Shack, is a little adapter that would plug in the tip of it into just a regular two, um, two leads. Okay. And then you would take those two leads. They sell the, the little adapter there. And you'll take those two leads, and one will be a positive, okay. one will be a negative. And then just so wire it straight in. Okay. Yeah, so then this is your positive on the top. This is your negative on the bottom. Can you show me what the output is that I plug that adapter into? The output? Yeah, so I go from brick thing to uh, I have to plug in an adapter that I buy from uh, Radio Shack. What, what do I plug the adapter into? Well, would you prefer just to keep it off grid and charge the battery? No, but uh, if I can work out a way to do it on grid, I'd just like to see the bit that I use. Have you got one there? You, you, uh, let's see. So those brick adapters, they'll have a whole bunch of different types of, um, of 
plugs on them. Yep. So let's let me just see if I have one on hand. Thank you, Danny. Thank you very, 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 very much. Okay, so I just found one. Yeah, so this is a brick. This is a brick adapter. Okay. And what comes out the end? Oh, it so just turns side, into two two wires. Okay, so they'll sell that unit that down there, will they? Yeah. What? Um, yeah. Okay. Connection. So I meant the other end, bro. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No. Go ahead. So go this back. other end, this other end, I spliced it already. Oh yeah, I smoked it. Oh. You see, I spliced. You see, I spliced this end. Yeah. To expose both of the leads. Okay. Um, yeah. And then when you plug it in, you basically just take a multimeter and you hold it to it. And you'll find out which one is positive and which one is negative. Yeah. Okay. And that's and that's what you plug into your to your little pref board there. Uh, I see. I see. Okay, that's very clever. So just get it down so, to twelve volts. How many amps? Like five amps? No, not at all. Somewhere around like uh, maybe uh, four hundred, five hundred milliamps at most. Oh my. Because remember, this is a very low current system. What happens so you, if we? You never need. Okay. You never need more than like two and a half watts, and you can literally light 300 LEDs. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. Well, that, that's good news. I think I'm going to run down and get both those bits, so I have both. This, this is the adapter. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to just buy one of these, they sell these too. Okay. So I, cut, I, cut, I cut that off. Yeah, this is a little white tip. So... Normally, the, their adapters, they'll come with little ends like this. It looks like uh, halogen plugs. Uh-huh. All right, so then this plugs into this. Uh-huh. And you just go ahead and couple that together. I see. And that's, I see. Pretty, and that's pretty much it. Then you use these outputs to plug into the board. Yeah, you're so lovely, man. Thank you so much. Okay. Um... And then, of course, your output your output pins are gonna be um, your output pins are gonna be the middle of the transistor and the far right. So the middle and the far right. So we'll go ahead and put in we'll go ahead and put in some more jumper wires, just so that you could follow it. So in the middle pin, we're gonna leave another jumper wire coming out. On the south side. Yeah? South side? Yeah, so on, uh, towards you on the, on the bottom of it. Yes, okay. Okay, is, it, is that going? It's just coming straight up. Hang this is going to be your output lead. Hang on so, a minute. So Th things are a little different for me now. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm seeing... From the far right of the potentiometer, it goes to the left. Yeah, cool. And then one goes up there. Cool. And one goes out here. Now, do I put this one below the other one or above it? It doesn't matter which is on top or below. Doesn't it? No, it's um, that whole rail is connected to itself. Okay, I got you. I'm going to just run down the street to the store and get some food. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I come back, hopefully Mark will be back. Mm -hmm. If he gets here, just let him know that we're coming right back and we're going to pick him up and go. Of course. All right, cool. Thanks. Okay. All right, Daniel. Randy. Peace, man. <laughs> Talk to you later, bro. See you later. See you later, man. Uh, okay, so I got one of them in. All right. And, uh, yeah, then, then your last one is just going to go... You don't even have to connect it to a, to the transistor again. You could just go straight to the bottom rail because it's all connected. So this is your output. Wow, that's deep the way that happens. Yeah, because it's um there are little conductors in there. If you break that that board apart, what you'll find is a whole bunch of little uh, again like little staple type looking things that basically um, it holds the components. Wait, are you on the red rail at the very bottom, or are you on that blue rail at the bottom? Uh, oh, I'm at the blue rail at the bottom. Uh, the blue at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So. so one of these goes into the battery, positive and negative. Mm -hmm. And then this is the output, positive and negative. 
Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, and load wise, uh, let me just quickly show you what George brought. Uh, is that old classical? Yes, yes, very okay. classical, very old. <laughs> okay, okay. So look what George has got for us. He's got this uh, tricolored LED strip. Nice. Cool. cool. Let me just, Beautiful. just let me get George. Uh, they sell that at Radio Shack. No, we got some of this. Um, so it's the oh man, this is ideal. I'm thinking about getting one of those too, just so so that we have the same thing. Just so we can be like a team. So look at the end, it's like this. Can you see? Nice. So which there's three bits here: red, green, and black. Which bits am I supposed to plug in where? You have any idea? That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Do you think I can get away with just red, green, and plug the black into some nowhere? Maybe it's just red and black. Okay. So can I put that, plug that straight into the board, uh, because they're little pins? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. So my red, my black is the negative, right? Okay. And that's coming out the bottom blue. Just stick that in there. And then the red is the positive, and that's just going somewhere along. Oh no, that's the output there. So I can stick that where that big green one's coming out. I can stick it anywhere. Yeah, so the red the red should go to the, the collector and the middle pin. And the green one? The green one or the black one. I would think that you would want to use black as negative. So you take the black one yeah. and plug it into the bottom rail. Yeah, I've done that. And the green one I can just leave. Yeah, for now. And um, yeah, if, if you see that it's not turning on, then you can try uh, switching the black for the green. And do you think it will matter if it doesn't have a neutral? Mm, it shouldn't really need a neutral if they're LEDs. What I'm thinking, if it's tricolor, you may have an option to switch. Okay. Okay. You know, you may, okay. and, unless it's a, um, you know, a weird configuration. This is a serious. Maybe both, the, maybe both the black and the green are, uh, are negative. I'm not sure. Okay, it's a pretty funky thing right here, man. I'm going to, oh, I can't really squeeze it inside the coil, but that would be cool if I could. <laughs> I, I could feed it in there. I think there's some plates. No, it's a bit big. No, I could feed it in there. Wow. I could feed it inside. How did you get your light bulbs inside? Um, a panel lit from underneath. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, now I just need to go get a battery uh, and some of those bits and pieces to plug it in. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna run down to Radio Shack and go grab them. That's it. Yeah. So that's all you need now is just the and um, yeah. I don't know if um. Maybe some neon bulbs. Neon bulbs? Yeah, if you could find a neon bulb somewhere, that would be wonderful. Okay. Because then you could, you could just go ahead and try out your neon bulb across the, um, the outputs of the circuit. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, and, the, and the neon bulb should, should demonstrate uh, the potential pretty clearly. Uh, any, any other ones? Uh, I mean, any type of neon bulb I should look for? Mm, the highest wattage rating that you can find, but they're generally just tiny bulbs like this. Okay. You sorted a whole bunch together. 
Yeah. So should I try and get like ten or something too? Well, if you find them, they're kind of hard to find on hand. Normally, they're like uh, order online. Mm. But if you can find them and like fries, I would get, I would get a bunch. Okay, and uh, for setting up an experiment where we do one battery charging another one. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a little bit more of um of wire for that. Okay. So you would need um basically uh let's see. That's what we've been testing on our end over here. Okay. Okay. You basically need another coil stacked on top and then you rectify the energy off of that coil and feed it into the same battery or a different battery. But what I was checking last night is even two coils is only putting out 15 milliamps. So I'm thinking there has to be a type of um, there has to be a type of time delay with the capacitors. Why? So not that when the capacitors come because it stores more energy in those caps before it goes into the battery. So right now what I have is um, you know it goes up to 500 volts. But it's, it's kind of like unstable voltage, you know, where it's creating ozone and things like that. But um, basically what you do is you feed that voltage into a capacitor bank, and it stores it for a moment. And then after those caps are filled, then they dump into whatever load it is that you're using. You see, so you create like a type of reservoir before, mm. you, before you start using the energy. Okay. okay. So that's what we need is like a, a little momentary gap to say, okay, we're going to take the output, charge up the caps fully, and once the caps are fully charged, then they discharge into a battery, which could be the same battery or a different battery. Okay, good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to run down to the store and See, get the bits. Uh, is it seeming good? Like, you're, are you feeling confident? Yeah, no, I feel confident. I just need to get a battery and uh, a, a kettle plug to go into this thing to charge the battery. And right. maybe this is even my interface with the, with the wall. Um, so I can just go straight out from the wall, right? That, those chargers normally put out an amp. Okay. Because in order for them to charge a battery, they have to be pulling a lot of amperage. Okay. So at least it's an app. So if you plug that into your circuit, you'll blow your circuit. Really? Okay. Yeah. So I have so to work with very, I have to work with very, very gentle currents. Yeah. Well, you, you don't want to have something that has a fixed regulator that's saying it has to put out one app. Okay. Now you, you'll get one of the other ones that's uh, saying somewhere like 500 milliamps or maybe... Um, 250. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. 500 milliamps or maybe... Uh, most 800 milliamps, but you don't want to go into the amp range because you, you will fry some. I heard that an engineer came to see you and was really happy about your yes. work. Yeah, that must be great. Sure. That was. Mike, Mr. Mr. Mike Waters, he came over and, um, yeah, he was really excited about everything, okay, man. He was, he was uh, playing with the fields and feeling like... Um, he was hearing stuff in the different parts of the room. You know how that's like. Mm. So he was just sitting here and he was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is there something going on back there? <laughs> I was like, no, it's just the coil. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting stuff. Okay, so I'm going to write to George and tell him to try to get some magnets and um, some other fun stuff. Uh, some magnets and some uh, neon bulbs, um, and we can hook them up in series. Uh, and if we wanted to start charging stuff, we need to start dealing with higher amps, basically. So we'd need to have bigger coils and bigger circuits, yeah? Maybe just bigger capacitors. Yeah? Okay. Because literally what, what it is is, um, you know, we're getting a lot of output potential, but it's about charging something first. <laughs> Like having a capacitor bank that can charge up a nice amount of energy before you start using it. Okay. You know, so we need to have a high, a high voltage, high, high current access point that's going to allow us to then feed it into the battery. Because without that, it's just like, uh, 
you know, high, really, really high voltage spikes. Okay, so theoretically we can do that. Yes. With more output, with more output than what we're seeing on the input side, we should be able to do it. Now it's just a matter of def defining a very clear circuit that will, that will in fact do it. And it's, uh, you know, we're going to possibly need, so the super caps are on the way, but we may possibly need a capacitor that's like this big. Yeah. That's, yeah. So those, those cost a hundred bucks and, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty robust capacitors, but they hold a lot of potential. Send, so me, that, send me the bill, bro, if you, if you need it. Oh, God bless, brother. Whatever. Um, whatever, no, I mean, it's a, it's a fucking it's a, honor. I'm sorry, I'm swearing at this, like, I don't mean to, it's absolute honor. It really is. <laughs> um, mate, I, I, like these, I like these electrifying healing fields that come and get me when I do this work. Like, ah! <laughs> it's like you're not going to be allowed near this stuff in your present state, the universe says. No way you coming yeah, near this. Yeah. You're going to represent this technology. We're going to electrocute you, my bro. Just fry out all the bad stuff. Um, amen, amen. <laughs> okay, dear George, we need uh, magnets, uh, spheres, spheres, uh, and what else do we need? We need magnet spheres and uh, 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 neon bulbs, neon bulbs. please. And can we be specific? What What are your neon bulbs? Sixty. Um, well, sixty to one hundred and twenty volts. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. And then if you get if you if he finds sixty volt neon bulbs, then what you'll just do is create a series connection between them, like I showed you there. Mm. And then you'll be able to tie them off at different points, so that you can say, okay, well, this is sixty, this is one twenty, this is one eighty, and you can give you kind of gauge the output potential. So you really don't even need the meters; you could just go by the neon. Okay. okay. Uh, so yeah. how many should I say? Can you bring? About uh, so we can have six each or something. Six or like eight? Ten. ten. I would say ten. Yeah, ten I would say order like ten. Because okay. some of them pop. So bring like twenty. I'll pay for ten. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll give you a call in a bit when I hook it all up together. Okay. All right, brother Charles. Thank you Can't so wait to much. See what happens. Okay. Cool. Love to everybody. <laughs> All right, man. Peace. Uh, later. Bye.